Hi guys, it's Clyde and I wanted to show you a little bit of pixel test here. This is a uh, frozen block of ice. I uh, froze some pixels in some uh, water and I wanted to show you the results so far. This is just after freezing them. Um, have them hooked up to uh, my little pixel controller here, that little tester. Uh, just running uh, multi mold multi -mo uh, mode here I'll put it up here and uh, it's already started thawing out but it's been running now on constantly for I want to say oh, about two hours now I pulled it out of the freezer this morning I soldered on the uh, pigtail and I just connected it with some electrical tape real quick but uh, so far it is uh, it is running. I, as far as I can tell, all the pixels are running. Uh, you can see it's started to melt. So like I said, I did this two hours ago. I pulled it out and plugged it in. And uh, I wanted to see how, uh, how well they were, they were working. And uh, I'm just going to keep up on this test. So uh, I'll come back uh, after I get home from work tonight and take another video and make sure that they are working. Uh, if they're submerged like this, I want to make sure that there's no water ingress. And then I'm going to refreeze and do the test again. Okay, see ya. Hi guys, it's me again. This is part two of the test of the pixels. And you can see when I left, when I uh, first stopped the video, uh, all of these pixels were in a solid block of ice. You can see now they have thawed. And uh, I just got home from work. It's roughly two... 30 in the morning and um, so here I am it's still connected I just moved it from on top of the refrigerator and I'm going to turn this on and we're going to see if we have sparks fly and if we do then we have to turn it off and if we don't then we have pixels working so there's the startup and there we go it looks like this is uh, test number one pixels are uh, working and I guess I could pull them out of here, I'm not getting shocked or anything. They all seem to be going. Yep, they all seem to be going. Let me uh, cycle. Let me cycle through the colors here. There we go. It looks like all the reds are working. Here's some green. Those seem to be working. And a blue. And those seem to be working. Now, uh, this is the same thing, but it's a chase function with multiple colors. And the reverse. Here we go. This is this is a little bit interesting. Just gives pink and yellow and or pink and, and red and white. So I am going to go ahead and put these back in the water carefully so I don't short anything out. And then I'll put these back in the freezer. And we will disconnect them now. We're gonna put them back into the freezer and turn this off because I don't need the power supply running anymore. And I'll make sure these are frozen one more time. Go in the freezer. It's hard to open this with one. There we go. As you can see here, this is exactly the kind of same things that's going to happen out in the display. We've got pixels underneath water. They're going to be ice and there's going to be snow and there, there's going to be uh, water that actually freezes and expands and um, as ice is formed and then it's going to recontract. Now if the freezing process expands those rubber jackets or those plastic jackets and the injection molding or the uh, epoxy resin that's inside these cannot withstand that uh, pressure of being expanded and contracted, then what we'll notice is we'll, we'll notice some bad pixels. 
And if that's the case, then we don't want to purchase a massive amount of these and put them out in our displays in the middle of winter time whenever we're going to see a lot of uh, bad weather. So tomorrow we'll wake up in the morning. This will be a solid block of ice, and we will go back and do this one more time and test them out in the morning and see how it goes. All right, so it's 10.30 in the morning. I just got up, and here's our pixels. Surprise, surprise, they're frozen in a block of ice because we left them in the freezer all night long. So, let's see how good I can do this one-handed. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to connect these. I'll pause the video, and I'll be right back. And there's my connection. And I'm going to go over here and turn the power on. And there's my one little RGB that lit up. And there's our pretty colors. We had red last night, I think, and I switched it around a bit. There's the red again. And orange and yellowish. And it looks like they're all working. Oops. I have a loose connection on my wire here. I need to not be jacking that around. There's all red. Let's see if all the reds work. So far, so good. I'm uh, pretty happy with these pixels. I think that's a. I think this is definitely a positive test. So, um, we'll uh, probably be ordering a couple more of these.